Hi guys, this is Abhi from GokshaDB and in this video, you're going to learn how to configure an S3 bucket for email alerts using SNS event notifications. Let's get into it. Let's start by navigating to the simple notification service, then click on topics, then hit create topic. For topic type, I'm going to choose standard, then give my topic a name. Let's leave all the other settings to their default values, then hit the create button. Next, click on the create subscription button, then choose email from the protocol dropdown. Enter your email address in the endpoint text box then hit the create button. Go to your inbox and confirm the subscription, then come back to the SNS window and click on your topic. Your subscription status should now say confirmed. Next, click on the edit button and scroll down to the access policy section. Here, I'm going to copy paste a sample policy from this user guide, which gives the S3 service access to the SNS topic. In this policy, I'm first going to replace the SNS topic ARN variable with the actual value of my test topics ARN. Attention! Next, we need an ARN of our S3 bucket. To do that, let's first go to the S3 service and create a brand new bucket. Now go inside your bucket and grab the bucket ARN from the properties tab. Finally, I'm going to replace the bucket owner account ID template variable with my actual account ID. Giddy up! To recap this access policy, we're giving the S3 service publish access to the my test SNS topic where the bucket ARN is my sample bucket GokchaDB and the account ID is this. Click on save changes, then go back to the S3 window and scroll down to the event notifications section. Hit the create event notification button, then give your event a name. For event types, I'm going to select all object create events and all object removal events. Then scroll down to the destination section. Let's select SNS topic as our destination, then choose the SNS topic that we just created from the dropdown. Hit save changes, then navigate to the objects tab. Company, halt! Here, I'm going to upload a text file called note1.txt to see if it generates an event notification. Now, if you go back to your inbox, you should see an S3 notification alert letting you know that there was a note1.txt file uploaded to your test bucket. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.